Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you might be watching. This video will describe and demonstrate the construction and use of the XOR Name Manager. The names that we're going to use in the Name Manager are constructed using basically the five rules that we see over here. First of all, we need to remove any blank rows in the data. Then we select the cells to be named. And a quick and easy way to select cells in a column is to click on the first cell and then hold down the control shift and the down arrow. And when I do that, all of the cells will be selected down to the first empty cell. That's why we remove any blank rows in the data. So we've selected our cells. Now it says name the selected cells. Start with an alpha character with no spaces. To do that, I go over here in the name box, click in the name box, and I'm going to name these cells salaries. Then I press enter. Notice that there were no spaces and started with an alpha character. Now I go to the name manager to check that that name is available. And what I'll do is to click on the formulas tab and then I see name manager. So when I click on the name manager, there I see the salaries, the name salaries, which refers to those cells down there. So the name manager refers to I5 to I13. Now, what the name manager enables me to do is to create a formula using the name of the cells that I've selected. In other words, I will see the various cells which will be named as salaries and it works like this. I'm going to say equal sum, open a bracket, salaries. So I have not used any cell references. Now when I press enter, I'll see the total of the salaries, 517,000. So uh, that's much easier than using cell references, which can be quite prone to mistakes. Now instead of typing the name, what I can do in this cell, for example, I'm going to use the cell that I saw in the name manager in the formulas tab and it works like this equals sum open my bracket and then I go to the formulas name manager and use in the formula so there I see salaries and when I click on salaries and close the bracket I'll see the same answer 517,000 now the beauty about that is that it saves me making any typing mistakes if I type in the name of those selected cells. Now we can look at some more advanced examples. So I'll go to the advanced tab and what I want to do here is to look at the number of typists. And what I've done, I've named the job cells I selected them all and I named them job and what I can do is if I wish click on the name box and there I see the fact that I have those cells named as job. I will also see them if I click on the name manager and there is the job name. So what we'll do in this cell I want to see the number of typists. I can look at the jobs and I see that there are two typists. So hopefully I'll see the answer two. Now the formula I'm going to create using the function, a statistical function, count ifs. So I'll count if the job is named typist. So over here in the function arguments box, which makes it nice and easy, the criteria range will be 
job. And the criteria will be typist. I would normally click on the uh, name that I want to check out to save any typing mistakes. And when I click OK, there I see that the answer is 2. Similarly, let's look at the total salaries of the auditors. Not including the head auditor, because even though the head order is in cell is in the job, it is not just auditor. So what I'm going to do is to click on the formulas tab and look in the math and trig group and go down to sum ifs. When I click on the sum ifs, what's the sum range? The sum range will be salaries. So what I can do here is to use in the formula salaries. The criteria range is job. So I can use that in the formula job. And the criteria will be auditor. So when I now click OK, the sum is 137,000. That one and that one. So that's how the name manager works very very simply with, with more advanced situations. Okay now it's time to look at a very large spreadsheet. This particular spreadsheet is over 2,000 rows deep and our goal as we see over here is to analyze this large spreadsheet for the sales of a particular person in a particular country using the name manager. The name of the salesperson will be Robert King. The country will be Germany and we want the total sales. Now what I've done to prepare us is that I have already named three of the columns. And I've named the country column country. I've named the sale price over here sale price and the salesperson in this column. I did that of course by clicking on one of the top cells and control shift down arrow and that selected all of the cells in that column. Now we can go back to the start of the spreadsheet and there we are. Now in the total sales what I'm going to do is to click on the math and trig in the formulas and go down to the sum ifs. That brings up the function argument dialog box. Now what we can do is in the sum range we're going to use this in the formula being the sale price. The criteria range 1 will be to use in the formula the country and the country in the criteria will be Germany. We can click on any Germany that we see. The criteria range 2 will be the salesperson and we want to see Robert King and we'll click OK and see what our answer is. The answer is 7,608.93. There is sales. There is total sales. We'll make that a bit bigger so we can see it. Just go to the home tab. And it rounds up to 7,609, which is fine. So that's how we would use the name manager. It makes the selection of names very, very simple. And you can just imagine trying to create that formula using cell references. It would take much, much longer. That completes our video on the name manager. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so. We love likes and comments. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.